Hi, and welcome to another video from the best of CET series. In this particular video, we are going to be looking at some questions that involve calculations. Now, of course, calculations as a topic has not really been appearing at the CET very frequently, but still sometimes you might see some questions that involve quantitative comparison or even a set of five questions in the form of say match the following wherein these concepts are applicable. So without further ado, we'll start with this particular chapter or we'll start with this particular video on calculations. What I will be doing in this particular video is I'll just show you a, a question and you can just solve it on your own. The ideal time to solve the question is 15 to 20 seconds. So try to solve the question within 15 to 20 seconds if you can. Brilliant. Even if you are taking around 30, 40 seconds, it's fine. If you are taking more than a minute to solve the questions, you might need to become friendlier with numbers. So I will show you one question at a time and we will discuss that particular question. Then we will move on to the next question and so on. So I'll just flash the first question. You may pause the video, try the question out on your own and then have a look at the solution. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. So in this question, let's look at what exactly is happening. So 276 divided by 46 divided by 324 by 54. So you just have to flip the fraction minus 24 by 144. That part is inconsequential. Multiplied by another bracket divided by some large division multiplication term that we have here. So what we can do is we can simply look at what exactly is happening with 276 by 46, 324 by 54 and start with the question. So 46 and 276. Now again, if you have to take a leap of faith, you can understand that 46 fives are 230. 230 plus 46 is 276. So I know that 46 sixes are 276. 6 divided by what is this number? 324 by 54. 5 sixes are 30. 4 sixes are 24. 324. So 6 divided by 6 is what I have here. 6 divided by 6 will be 1 minus 24 by 144. Again, if you are good with tables, you will know that 24 sixes are 144. Multiplied by 216 by 125. So I will just write it as it is. It's, it's um, oh, sorry, 125, it's 6 cube by 5 cube, multiplied by 36 by 25 will get flipped, you will get 25 by 36 here, right? You can also cancel these out, 25 fives are 125, 36 sixes are 216. So you will get 6 by 5 here. Similarly, if you look at the denominator, you will have 196 by 2, that is 98, divided by 25 by 4, which means multiplied by 4 by 25 multiplied by 125 by 245 divided by 200 by 50 meaning multiplied by 50 by 200. So that is what you can do. You can just go from left to right and flip the terms as and when it's required because it's one single expression that you have. So if you look at what's going on here, you will get 25 fives are 125. You can cancel out a 5 from here, 5 4s are 20, 5 9s are 45, 49 2s are 98, 50 2s are 100, 2 2s are 4. So my denominator is 2, that's it. If you look at the numerator, 1 minus 1 by 6 will be 5 by 6 multiplied by 6 by 5, which will be 1 divided by 2 will be my answer. 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. So my correct answer here is option E, that is 0 0.5. Now I will show you the second question. You can again try it out on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. So in this question, we have to find the value of the expression that has been given to us. So again, we can apply the same principles that we applied in the first question. Wherever there is multiplication or division, we can just flip the terms that we have here. So the first thing that we can do here is we can just solve the bracket if you want to get into board mass. So 3 by 2 plus 2 by 3 will be 3, 3 are 9 plus 4 that is 13 divided by 6. So this entire bracket will be replaced by 13 divided by 6. Now we can again solve everything from left to right. The only plus or minus parts that we have here are uh, 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 and minus 3 by 2. So we can take care of these parts later. Let's look at the left side. 2 by 3 into 3 by 2, you can simply say that this is 1. 1 divided by 2 by 3 becomes 3 by 2, multiplied by 13 by 6. So this is one part that we have, plus 3 by 2 into 3 by 2. Product will be taken first. So you will get 9 by 4 here, minus 3 by 2. That's what we get. Now if you look at it, 3 2s are 6, you will get 13 by 4, plus 9 by 4, minus 3 by 2 for the sake of simplicity, let's write this as 6 by 4 because I want to make the denominator 4 throughout. So this will be nothing but 4 as it is, 
13 plus 9, 13 plus 9 is 22, minus 6 is conveniently 16, 16 divided by 4 will be our answer that is option E4. Now, I will show you the next question. Again, you may pause the video, try it out on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. In this question, you have to find the approximate value of the expression. Now, to find the approximate value of things, you need to understand squares, square roots at the very least. Cubes, brilliant. Cube roots, better. Right? So, all these things, if you know, you will be able to solve these questions quickly. Plus, you should have a working knowledge of indices because here you have 400 raised to minus half. So, 400 raised to minus half is 1 divided by 400 raised to half or 1 divided by square root of 400. So, if you can process this quickly in your head, you will be able to solve this question quickly as well. So, here root of 143.98 approximately is 12 minus 6th root of 729. So, if you know what is 729, you will be able to tell me quickly what is 6th root of 729. It is basically 3. 3, 3s are 9, 3s are 27, 3s are 81, 3s are 243, 3s are 729. So, 3 raised to 6 is 729, 6th root of 729 will be 3. Multiplied by, as I said, 400 raised to minus half is 1 upon 400 raised to half, 1 upon root of 400, 1 upon 20. So, I will just write this as 1 upon 20 plus 3.5 of 4, of means multiplication. So, if someone told you that you had got 80 percent out of 400 marks, let us say, what would you do? 80 by 100 into 400, so of is multiplication, 3.5 of 4. 4 will be 3.5 into 4, which will be 3.5, 2 are 7, 2 are 14. So, 14 into 4.5 of 6. So, again, if you know your bod mass rule, it is basically V bod mass. So, vinculum, brackets, then of, then division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, right. So, of precedes everything. So, what we will do is 4.5 of 6 is 4.5 into 6, 4.5, 2 are 9, 3 are 27. So, we will get 27 minus root of 576. Again, if you know your square roots, 24. So, what we are doing here is 12 minus 3 by 20. So, 3 by 20, you can simply write it as 30 by 20, which is 1.5. So, 3 by 20 will be 0 0.15. It does not matter, but you can just write it as 0 0.15 plus 14 into 27. 14 2s are 280. 14 7s are Again, if you know your 14 table, you will be able to figure out that 14 6s are 84, 14 7s are 98. So, 14 into 20 was 280, 280 plus 98 will be 378 minus 24. So, what you can do here is you can just add subtract terms and you will be able to get the answer. So, 378 is my largest number, 378 minus 24 will be 354, 354 plus 12 will be 366, 366 minus some number will be 365 point something. Is this my answer? Not really, not really, not really, not really. So, option D is the correct answer to this particular question. Now, I will show you the last question in this particular set. What you can again do is have a look at the question, pause the video, solve it on your own and then have a look at the solution that will follow. In this question, again, you have to find the approximate value of the expression that we have here. The options are again slightly far apart. So, we will be able to manage this well. So, here 2 cube, 2 cube will be 8 plus 4 cube approximately will be 64 plus 3 cube will be 27 plus 1 cube will be 1 plus 5 cube will be 125. So, that is what we have to do raise to 3 by 2 meaning that most probably this is going to be a perfect square. So, we have to take the square root of that number and then cube it or cube it and then take the square root. So, either way is fine. So, this is the first bracket divided by 729 raised to 1 by 3. So, as we saw, 729 was 3 raised to 6 in the previous question. 729 is the cube of which number? It is 9. So, 9 9s nine are 81, 9s are 729. So, the cube root of 729 is going to be 9 itself plus 243 raised to 1 by 5. Again, we saw 243 in the previous question as well. 3, 3s are 9, 3s are 27, 3s are 81, 3s are 243. So, we will have a 3 here. So, what we have to do is we have to get this divided by 9 and then add a 3 to our answer. So, here what is the sum of this? 8 plus 64 is 72, 72 plus 27 is 99, 99 plus 1 is 100, 100 plus 125 is 225. So, 225 raised to 3 by 2 divided by 9 plus 3. Now, 225 is the square of 15. So, we can say that the square root of 225 is 15, 15 cube. 
So, we need to do 15 cube divided by 9 plus 3 that is what we need to do. So, you can either find out what is 15 cube, you should remember the number ideally even if you do not it is fine. So, 15 cube by 9 plus 3. So, what is going to happen here is we can simply write this as 15 into 15 into 15 divided by 9 plus 3. You can just cancel out a 3 from here, 5, another 3 from here, again a 5. That is what we have here. So, we will have 15 into 5 into 5 plus 3. So, 15 5s are 75. 75 into 5 might be difficult for some people, but you can simply do 75 into 2, 150. 150 into 2 will be 300, that is 4 times 75 plus another 75 will be 375. 375 plus 3, my answer will be 378. So, the correct answer here is option D that is 378. So, I hope you learnt how to solve questions quickly or how to calculate things quickly. These might appear as standalone questions, they might appear in the form of quantitative comparison as I already mentioned, they might appear in the form of match the table or match the following as uh, you can expect or they could be a smaller part of larger questions. So, when it comes to questions from say call, uh, from say mensuration, let us say for example, or trickier questions from arithmetic, you might be required to calculate things in a quicker manner. So, make sure that you are, uh, you have established friendliness with numbers, you do not panic when you see a lot of big numbers and a lot of powers and uh, roots that are present and brackets that are present, do not panic, make sure that you solve them with utmost concentration and establish some familiarity with numbers in the form of squares, square roots, cubes cube roots, higher powers, easier ones of course and you should be fine with these calculation based questions. So, here is wishing you all the best with your preparation. I will see you in another video. Till then, happy learning.